I like how General McLaughlin talked about it. He said he had many priorities. I think we could probably fill uh, the entire series uh, well, you know, here on Federal Radio how about your talking top, about priorities. Top <laughs> but, <laughs> but I'm going to get to the top four. Um, at, at a very macro level, if we look at it uh, from a national perspective, uh, I would say cybersecurity needs to be seen as a critical national infrastructure priority. And so, for example, you know, the, the current administration is pushing forward an investment of uh, a trillion dollars mm -hmm. in uh, national infrastructure. And, and I would urge uh, all of our IT professionals to advocate that uh, some of that investment needs to go towards shoring up and improving and enhancing sure. our cyber posture uh, in terms of infrastructure. In addition to that, uh, as I talk to nearly every CIO, CTO, CISO, there is one item that is either number one or number two in their priorities, and that is securing and retaining cyber talent. Uh, it is a challenge not only for the federal government, uh, but for you know, all of us within the industry. And so you know, creative uh, solutions, and we see this developing in, in almost every agency. And DHS has put a lot of effort, as Tamara said, in, into this. Uh, but it, yeah, where, where we see some real progress is where there's a, a coalition approach in terms of academia, industry, and government partners working together to evolve that talent pool, working with universities, colleges, et cetera, into industry, into government, uh, moving that forward. But it, it is very much going to be a war for talent. Uh, the next, and the general talked about this, is, is the continual move from a defend and react to what uh, I would describe as a discover and harden your enterprise perspective. And so that, that's, again, this sock to sick and you know, defense in depth sort of perspective. And then finally, and this relates to uh, a number of high profile events in recent years, is uh, continuing to focus on the potential insider threat right. uh, and maturing our, our programs within our organizations to make sure that uh, we're very mindful about right. that, uh, that we're potential. We're all very familiar.